Earl Hurd was a very talented cartoonist and animator. He began making animated cartoons for Universal. Bray had undoubtedly seen these things, and I believe he must have noticed some interesting techniques being used in them. The idea of putting everything on cells saved the work. When Hurd came to the Bray studio, they were still producing films in the artist's dream manner, where a background was reproduced as a photostat with a small hole where the animation was to go and the background was to be retraced in that area. Heard devised a system of using transparent sheets of celluloid to draw and paint artwork on. And there's the background is put over the drawings. It looks like it's behind it, but it's actually over it. And then you have to remove this, change the drawing, and put the background back. So it was always registered. It was always in the right place and it wouldn't move. And eventually, somebody got the idea, well, we put the background down and then put the character over the background. That way they could put the moving characters under the camera on top of a static background that could be very elaborately painted and drawn. It really enabled the animation industry to move forward. And it was a technique that was used for many, many decades afterwards until computers came along. Really, that's animation. That's what we know when we think of Mickey Mouse and Steamboat Willie or Snow White or The Little Mermaid. That's the technique. And not only were the Brays bringing Herd's talent into the company, they also formed the Bray Herd Patent Company. And the Bray Herd Patent for that technique was used by everybody who wanted to make cartoons, and you'll see their names on animated films into the 1930s. And boy, did he make money off of that. 